These things had potential to be one of the best clogs in the market right now if it only weren't for that one thing. Yo guys, what's going on? Zakaragi back at it again and today we have another episode of Toilet Reviews, the series where I put a shoe on a toilet and then I review it for you guys out there. So for today's episode, we have these guys back here. So these are the Tom Bogo Saucony Butterflies. They're a collaboration between fashion designer Tom Bogo and Saucony. So before I get into this review, guys, I need all of you guys out there to sub to the channel and click that bell icon as well. And don't forget to like and comment as well because with all this algorithm stuff going on here, each and every like and comment really goes a long way to help the channel out and I'd really, really appreciate it as well. But without further ado, guys, let's start talking about these back here. I had really, really high hopes for these clogs given that they're that new wave of three-in-one shoes where you can wear them in multiple different ways, just like the Jordan System 23. So you can wear them with the inner booty inside the clog, you can wear them without the inner booty inside the clog, and you can also wear them with just the inner booty as well which I personally wouldn't recommend so that's also exactly the same as the Jordan System 23 but not quite the same as the Addy Foam Quake because with those ones you can't actually wear them without the inner booty inside of them so just a little quick fact if you didn't know that already but yeah I was super super intrigued with the design and the features that the shoe offered so Obviously, I wanted to grab a pair of them, and given that they're piping up this clog all over on Tom Bogo, on Saucony, on Nice Kicks, and all of that jazz, it really made me amped up to get these in hand. But you know, after waiting like two to three weeks after winning the raffle for these, and just I don't think it should have taken that long, but after getting them in hand and putting them on my feet, I was super, super disappointed and really, really let down, which I'll get more into later on in the video. But like I said before, this is a collaboration between fashion designer Tom. Bogo and Saucony so we do have Tom Bogo branding going throughout the clog and these do come with a special edition box as well which I think is one of the coolest shoe boxes I've ever seen this thing is so dope it's a really nice feature as well added on with the shoes all right guys so let's get it started with the materials real quick so these things have a neoprene material and a mesh material on the inner booty that's it and then moving along to the actual clogs themselves the materials on these include either a rubber based or foam based compound I'm gonna assume it's foam based because that's what most clogs are, but these things feel thicker than your standard clog and more durable as well. So it is thicker in areas where it needs to be in high wear areas without sacrificing on foot comfort. And it is also thinner in some areas where it needs to be more flexible as well. Compared to other clogs that I own, like the Merrill Hydro Mox or even like the Yeezy Foam Runners, the materials on the Saucony Butterflies don't exactly stand out to me honestly and the materials on the inner booty of the Saucony Butterfly yes the neoprene does feel comfortable and I think it's a great material to have on the inner booty but the mesh material on it doesn't really feel that great and honestly it is a little cheap in my opinion as well so not too impressed with that but moving along just I feel like the whole design of this clog is a step above of the Merrill Hydro Mock or like the Yeezy Foam Runner or even Crocs as well. So this is why I feel like it could have been a really, really good clog on the market had it not been for one thing that really set it off for me. But we'll get into that later on in the video. But for now, let's move along to the cushioning setup. So the Saucony Butterfly have one of Saucony's more popular cushioning setups, which is called Power Run. So this technology is pretty much just an EVA foam compound. So this is one of Saucony's best cushioning setups to have to offer. But personally, from a try on standpoint, it feels very stable and not very plush and doesn't really feel that comfortable either. I don't know, maybe I need to break them in more to really get the most comfort out of them, but I don't think I'll keep these long enough to find that out. Also, these clogs do come with a super cheap, super thin insole as well, which really doesn't add to the overall comfort in my opinion. But moving along to the bottoms of the shoe, the outsoles on these are great. Compared to all the clogs I've ever owned, it definitely has potentially the most durable tread. The translucent pods on the outsoles are actually made of a tough rubber that reminds me of an outsole of like a durable hiking shoe like the Merrill Jungle Mock Explorers. If you guys want to see a review I've done for those, click the link up here. But I feel like the outsoles will be very durable based off my first impression and they really look like they can take a good beating. All right guys, so the one thing that just ruins the entire clog for me is actually the sizing. So these things fit super awkward in my opinion. So on the website when I entered for the raffle, 
full sizes and half sizes were grouped together. So I got a 10 slash 10 and a half. I normally wear a size 10 in most shoes that I wear. And honestly, these things did not fit me well at all. These things are just way too snug in my opinion. Like I can't even classify these things as a size 10 or 10 and a half even because lengthwise it's just way too snug and it really does hurt my toes trying to wear them. And then width wise as well, man, because of the inner booty, the length is more snug and then the width is just too damn narrow. Like it hurts my foot to wear these. Like personally, I don't even have that wide of a foot. I consider my foot to be more on the narrow side and it still feels pretty tight. So if you are a wide footer, I would probably just say to stay away from these as much as possible because your foot will not feel comfortable at all if you try to put on the inner booty alone. So that is just something that is so disappointing about these clogs. Like if I had the chance to go back and order a different size, I'd probably try to go with the 11 slash 11 and a half if I could have, but honestly, I feel like that would have fixed the length problem, but it would not have fixed the width problem. But the worst part about these clogs is actually when you take out the inner booty and wear it as just a regular clog because they don't fit at all because the mold of the clog fits the inner booty only. So when you put them on without the inner booty, it's so damn loose now. Like there's so much heel slippage and it just doesn't fit properly at all. Like I thought of a quick solution that I would take out the insole from the inner booty, put it into the clog and wear it like that. Hopefully that would kill some space, but it didn't at all. It still felt pretty loose and the heel slippage is crazy in my opinion. Like you can literally see my fingers go behind the shoe and just fit comfortably there. And that shouldn't happen because I wanted more of a tight and secure fit when I took out the inner booty and wanted to wear these as a clog. So I don't even know what the point of branding these as a three in one shoe is because you can't even wear them in multiple different ways comfortably. So that is just something that is so annoying. And because of this is a collaboration shoe you can't even go to the store and exchange your size because once these things are gone they're gone that's it so I'm stuck with this clog that doesn't even fit my foot so I'm so pissed and so disappointed with how these things turned out as far as sizing goes and I know a lot of people out there actually that experience the same thing as me so we're all mad here Mr. Tom Bogle if you're watching this video I think you should contact us and send us like replacement pairs I don't know that's probably asking too much much, but almost an apology or something. This is just so shitty and I'm so unimpressed with this. So you know what? That is it for today's video, guys. I've had enough ranting about the sizing. I appreciate all of you guys for watching. So at that point of the video, it's time for hashtag Zakuragi. What you rocking? So for today, guys, whew. All right guys, so for today, I have the Jound A6 Gel Kyono 14. So I did previously state in my initial review for them that they were underwhelming. If you wanna see the review, click the link up here. But you know, I've been wearing these every single day for the past however many days now because I am in the middle of a one month wear update. And man, these things are starting to grow on me and I'm gonna take back my opinion from that last video. But that is it for today, guys. I appreciate all of you guys for watching. I'm signing out. Peace.